So, ladies and gentlemen, when we're doing long division, basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to identify if x plus 6 evenly divides into this polynomial. Now, previously, we've done examples where we know it divides into it. But in this example, we do not know if it divides into it or not. We'll be able to determine if it divides into it. All right. We will be able to determine if it divides into it if there is not a remainder when we do our long division. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up long division. So I'll write x, and I'll use black. Jay, could you go back to your seat, please? x plus 6 raised to x cubed plus 2x squared minus 20x plus 24. Jake. Go back over it, please. OK, now, when we're do applying long division, basically what we're going to be doing is we're simply going to, the first important thing when doing long division is to make sure that your dividend as well as your divisor are in descending order. So do we have that in this case, Crystal? Do we have uh, both our divisor and dividend in descending order? Yes. So now, when we're applying long division, basically what we do is we take our first term of our divisor, and we divide that into the first term of our dividend. So x divides into x cubed how many times? If you guys want to think about it, think about it like this. x divided by x. We talked about this at the beginning of class. How do you simplify x cubed divided by x? That becomes x squared. x divides into x cubed x squared times. Now, what we simply do is we take x squared, and we multiply it by x, and we multiply it by 6. So x squared times x gives us x cubed. x squared times 6 gives us a positive 6x squared. Does everybody see how I got to this point? Because this is the same routine. We're just going to repeat over and over. Now, the next thing we do is we subtract the rows. Okay. Now, to make sure when we're subtracting the rows, every single term we're going to have to use with the subtraction sign. So x cubed minus x cubed is 0x cubed, which is just 0. So I'm not going to write that in there. 2x squared minus 6x squared, it's 4x squared is going to be a negative 4x squared. Okay. The next thing you guys can do now is bring down the rest of your terms. Now, again, what we look into is following the same process. We say x, rather than going into x cubed, is now going to go into my next first term, which is negative 4x squared. So x divides into negative 4x squared, negative 4x times. x divides into negative 4x squared, negative 4x times. Again, if you'd like to be able to do this, If you guys looked at it in this format, what you guys can see, again, here, x squared divided by x is just going to be um, x to the first power. And then you'd have negative 4. Now, I take the negative 4x, and I multiply it by x, and I multiply it by 6. So therefore, negative 4x times x is going to leave me with a negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times 6 is going to leave me with a negative 24x. Again, we apply, we subtract the rows. So negative 4x minus negative 4 minus a negative 4x again goes to 0. Negative 20x minus a negative 24x is going to become a double negative, which returns positive. So we actually get a positive 4x. And then bring down the 24, so I have positive 24. Now again, we apply the same operation. I take x, and I divide it into 4x. x divides into 4x a positive 4 times. And you multiply 4 times x and 4 times 6. 4 times x gives you 4x. 4 times 6 gives you 24. See, Nan? See, Nan? I'm sorry, man. You're not supposed to be talking to this. I'm just going to have to. Take away some things. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> now, as we go ahead and subtract these, you guys can see that we now have zero. Okay? So I want you guys to think about this, because this is the most important thing. 
yes, long division is important, but why is this helpful? Why is this, what is this helping us to do? What we understand is this divides into this expression evenly, right? Because there's no remainder, correct? Yes? So if there's no remainder, that means it divides into the. How many times does x plus 6 divide into this polynomial? How many times? It divides into there x squared minus 4x plus 4 times, right? Any time we have a division problem, Sinan, do you need to leave? Do you need to leave? All right, please stop, because it's really annoying to other students. So what I want you guys to understand, what is the basic part of this, is that x plus 6 times x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to your polynomial, right? So what's important about this is since this evenly divides into this polynomial, this is called a what? What happens if we have something that evenly divides into it? It starts with an F. Factor. A factor. Yes. And once we know factors, how can we find, what can we find from factors? It starts with a Z. Zeros. So how do we go from a factor to a zero? You set your factor equal to zero and solve. Okay? So if I was to ask you, hey, ladies and gentlemen, please complete long division and determine all of the zeros. Well, what you guys could do here is if this evenly divides, which it does, that means this is a factor. So if I asked you for what was the zero, you would simply say x plus 6 equals 0, subtract 6, subtract 6, and say x equals negative 6. Wow. Now, since this evenly divides into this polynomial this many times, what that also tells me is now x squared minus 4x plus 4 is also a 0. So if this is a, if, I'm sorry, is also a factor. Why are they factors? Because this times this gives you your polynomial. This is a factor, and this is a factor. So if I want to find all of the zeros, I take this factor and set it equal to 0. Now, can I solve this? Yes, again, you can factor it. So we go back to our factoring technique. What two numbers multiply to give you 4, add to give you negative 4? Negative 2 and negative 2. So this is x minus 2 times x minus 2. So therefore, x equals 2 with the multiplicity of 2, which we'll get to later. But now what I want you guys to understand is here is your 0, right? So now we found the rest of the zeros. So now the zeros is at 2 and at negative 2. That's not what I was asking you, but that's how we use long division, OK? We use long division to find a factor. And if you find a factor,